As we continue to talk eclipse on Portland today, we're going to look at the path. Mm. Yeah, places where a million visitors to Oregon are expected to be on August 21st. Don't drive in the red. Newport, Corvallis, <laughs> Salem, Madras, John Day, all expected to be inundated with guests, as well as all the roads leading to those hot spots. It's why ODOT has been warning for months of possible congestion, long backups on roads across the state. Don Hamilton, the public information officer with ODOT, is here to run it down for us. So right off the top, which roads will be the worst, Don? There's going to be bad roads everywhere, but if you think of what's going on right in the path of totality, think of I-5, think of Highway 101. We're going to have all those oh, people yeah. over on the coast. Mm -hmm. Think of the roads that are going over the, uh, the uh, uh, Cascades, going up that way. 26 both ways. is going to be bad going both east of the valley and west of the valley out that way. So it's going to be heavy. Are we talking just the 21st or the weekend leading up to it? You know, this isn't just an event of a couple of hours or a couple of minutes. It's really in the days before, but especially uh, we think in the in, in Monday, the day of the eclipse, and the day after. Everybody may try to leave all at the same time. That's when the traffic could be the worst. So I'm curious, Don, do you guys have uh, research information that tells you how many Oregonians are actually going to take the day off work, do you think? That, I mean, I, obviously you can get information about the hotels being filled, but how do you see this playing out? We're hearing a lot of that information right now, is that some companies are telling people to work from home or stay home, it mm -hmm. would be wise. People can really help by staying off the roads that way, that day, especially the people from here in, in Portland, and, in yeah. the valley. And does it seem that the busiest day to beforehand, people will be traveling out to watch it maybe Sunday? Do you anticipate earlier than that? Well, it could be, Sunday could be the worst uh, of the, uh, uh, in advance of the time before Monday after the eclipse and then Tuesday, right after that may be really difficult as well. So give us a visual comparison here. We're talking uh, snow storm like we had this winter when everything was shut down? Are we talking game day when the ducks and beavers are in town going down I-5? How would you describe it? Take take your pick. You know, it's probably <laughs> going to be... Add them all together. <laughs> it's, it, well, yeah, add them all together. It's like a football day on I-5. It's going to be like the, the snowstorm that we had last year, except without salt. So it could be very, very <laughs> difficult out there. How about that salt, about Rod? That? I'm sure say. Rod would like to weigh uh, in on so that. So what are you doing to prepare for this? <laughs> well, we're, we're taking a lot of steps. We're trying to make sure the most important thing is that we can get emergency services to where they're sure. needed. Yeah. We're closing off a couple of the uh, uh, way stations of the scales so that we can use that for staging uh, for emergency services. We're also going to be closing off a lot of non-emergency maintenance and the regular construction work that goes on during the summer. Make sure the roads stay clear. What's your biggest plea to the public at this point? What do you want them to know or to do? Be aware of what's going on and stay off the roads if at all possible. Yeah. Get yourself someplace to watch the eclipse before this all takes place. Yeah, what about, I'm thinking people on the road, you know, I mean, just getting across, let's say, the I-5 bridge. Are people going to be almost coming to a halt, do you think? Looking up at it while they're driving? That could be a big issue, right? That's the thing that we fear as much as anything else is, is the people that are just stopped on the side of the road. And mm -hmm. we get that complete gridlock. That can yeah. be very dangerous on many levels, not the least of which is just being able to get emergency services to people. So would you write us a note out of work to get us out of the, out of the <laughs> job that day? I'll, 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 work, I'll work on that. We'll <laughs> see what you. we can coming do. But I think, I think you're going to be needed, too. We actually have an all <laughs> hands on deck we here. do yeah. we're, we're not allowed to be off that day <laughs> otherwise we would all be fleeing the state Absolutely. But, <laughs> but is it just real quick though a million people coming into our states that what we said mm -hmm. which is a quarter of the state's population according to so that's, that's right the biggest wow. influx over a weekend ever the biggest traffic event in oregon history i don't think they did this with model t's all right wow <laughs> and I won't ask Don. You know, and Don, <laughs> Don was saying that you have purchased glasses for every ODOT worker, right? That's Who's right. They're all going to have it. It's, a, it's a, 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 a protection when you're working outside in the field. Mm 